Okay guys, today I want to do a quick video talking about the Charge Plus and the newest revision of the Charge Plus, well, kind of newest revision of the Charge Plus, and ultimately I just wanted to bring it to you guys as awareness because there's not a whole lot of people talking about it, and I have a feeling that this is a pretty limited edition kind of uh, product, so for those interested, I thought I would bring it up because this uh, newest addition to the Charge lineup really kind of fixes my biggest gripe with the Charge and kind of the Leathermans as a whole, though this is just specifically for the Charge Plus. There aren't any uh, additions like this for the Surge or the Wave. So also I'll talk about some reasons why in this video you might want to consider if you have a Wave or if you're looking at getting a Wave, why you might step up to the Charge Plus. So getting to the Charge Plus now, this is my current Charge Plus that I've been EDCing for quite some time, actually now a few years, I've just kind of in the last uh, like eight months put some uh, orange tape on it for visibility slash uh, traction as you guys who have watched my video uh, know. This is also a pretty good mod still to do if you do have a normal Charge Plus, but let's jump into the newest uh, kind of a limited edition Charge Plus that is being offered by Leatherman, kind of. So this is the newer edition or kind of update. It doesn't change any of the tool sets uh, or any of the tools to the Charge, and it's not a complete revision of the Charge, like similar to a Charge and then the Charge Plus. This is still a Charge Plus at the core, but this edition of the Charge Plus is now, uh, or they are now offering the <laughs> They're now offering the Charge Plus in a G10 version. Now, they have, over the course of years, Leatherman has offered different types of uh, charges from their base model being aluminum handled like this to the titanium version. They've also had limited runs of things like uh, wood and... Um, carbon fiber, but this is another addition that is a little bit more attainable, especially if you're looking at buying a charged titanium, because this is actually the same price as the charged titanium, which is not terribly cheap, but we'll We'll discuss that in just a little bit. So unlike the, you know, specialized wood or the carbon fiber that were, you know, $300 or more, this one is a little bit more affordable than those. So... <clears throat> With that out of the way, like I was saying, this one is made out of G10, and the biggest thing that I love about this one, and in fact, even over their special editions of carbon fiber and wood, and of course their normal aluminum handled version, is that they actually milled the carbon fiber out to give it some texture. So back in when I did this, or when I did this modification to this charge, I did it because one, of course, it helps improve visibility of the tool, but also it gave the, uh, multi tool a little bit more traction so that was the biggest thing that i disliked about a lot of the leatherman multi-tools and multi-tools as a whole in general is they're all very slick and they're not very ergonomic and so they are more prone to kind of slip inside maybe out of a pocket or out of your hand and this really fixes a lot of that so they've milled the carbon or not carbon fiber they've milled the g10 and it actually really helps with traction uh, if you're trying to use the tool you know you actually can get a pretty good grip and apologies for a little bit of shakiness it is pretty cold outside so i'm just a little bit chilled but ultimately uh, like i said the milled g10 really does add a lot of traction to the tool and of course being that this is made out of g10 or it has i should say g10 scales instead of the aluminum scales it doesn't take a tremendous amount of weight out of the tool this is still a multi-tool and you will feel it like this feels like you're holding something it doesn't make this thing suddenly super light but it is noticeably lighter than the aluminum handled version so that is definitely a plus in both of those ways and you know even if it was uh not and even if it wasn't any lighter than the aluminum i still consider this a win just on the fact that they are you know more grippy or these panels are a lot more grippy and like i said this just simple modification really does make a big difference with the traction of the tool and i really do love that so that being said i know that i've been showing a lot of unobtainium on the channel here of late uh you know knives and tools that are very hard to acquire things like gba axes bark river knives uh, knives and of course now this g10 charge plus but the reason why i'm showing it off 
now as opposed to later is because these things are not necessarily being marketed by Leatherman. These are, from what I can make of it, more of a dealer exclusive. So uh, REI has their own version of this and it's red and satin. And this one I actually picked up at Sportsman's Warehouse and it's all black. And I actually like this version a lot more because the red G10 was a little bit, uh, it's definitely great for standing out and looking, you know, like this. But I was actually looking for an EDC multi EDC multi tool that was a little bit more incognito. So when I saw that Sportsman's had the full black version, I went for their version over the red and satin, just because this blacked out version I think looks a little bit cooler. And of course, it is a lot more subtle in its ways, so it's not standing out, it's not you know showing you that it exists. It's pretty actually even hard to see on camera, just a little bit in the right angles. <laughs> But yeah, so I went with this full blacked out version of it and definitely don't regret that part. So anyways, how you can acquire these, um, there's really no definite way. You know, you can look on Blade HQ. Blade HQ doesn't have any G10 versions of the Leatherman Charge Plus. Uh, like I said, REI has some. And there are a few distributors and dealers that have some. You just really have to Google it, see who has what, and go from there. So these are definitely not the easiest to obtain. And once again, I don't fully know if Leatherman is doing these as a regular thing or if these are just a limited run. So I wanted to throw out this video reasonably soon so that if people are interested in it, you know, they don't miss out their opportunity because of course this is going to make it into an soon to come EDC update, but I don't want you guys to uh, miss your chance before, you know, or I don't want you guys to miss a chance if you do want one of these G10 Leatherman Charge Pluses. I would definitely recommend, you know, doing a quick Google search and find, trying to find who has what because like I said, I looked on Leatherman's website, they don't even have G10 uh, charges listed on their website as an item they make, and you know, I've looked at Blade HQ, they don't have any, and I've looked at several other websites, they don't talk about these, but they are out there, like I said, there is a red and satin version, and there's these all blacked out versions, and so they do exist, they are out there, and personally, I think it's a shame that they aren't more marketed, because these things are really simple, but they have have some huge quality of life improvements, especially to the ergonomics and traction of the tool. So I definitely think they are a worthy consideration, especially if you don't already have a Charge Plus, but if you do have a Charge Plus, it might be worth stepping up to. So anyways, getting back to the price point, like I said, this is the same price as the titanium version. Now I would say if this was left down to the titanium or the G10, I'd recommend going G10 because the G10 still has more traction and it has the same uh, build materials in the tools. So you're still getting the S30V main blade on this. You guys can see there. It still has the S30V main blade and of course all the other tools are their standard. But with the titanium, the titanium charge plus is its claim to fame is that it has the higher quality steel and of course titanium handles but the titanium handles don't have any more traction than the aluminum handles and of course being that they are metal they weigh more than the g10 so g10 is definitely a better option to go with so aside from that if you do have a wave and you're looking to upgrade or you're thinking about getting a wave once again, these are not cheap at about $180. They're a little bit less than that, but around $180 is what you can expect to pay for either a charge in titanium or a charge in G10. But what I think is if you are going to EDC it and you're going to use it a lot and you want a mainline type of multi-tool that you can use as a replacement to a folding knife or just as a really good high quality backup, this is definitely a solid option and essentially the charge is like the wave and a lot of people wonder why I don't have any waves. It's because I have three charge pluses and the charge in my opinion is really a better tool because it's slightly smaller than the wave and it has one more tool to it but it's basically the same exact tool set 
as this, as the charge or, you know, the wave and the charge have the same tool set. The only difference is on the serrated blade. The wave just has a straight serrated blade, so it's just this serration down here, whereas the charge has the integrated seat belt cutter or rope cutter or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so that's the only other tool that the charge has over the wave, but it's basically the same exact tool set on the inside of the tool. You know, you have the same tool set, and once again, apologies, it's a little hard to see due to the fact that this is all blacked out, but same tool set on the inside, so it's really the same tool, just slightly smaller, slightly easier to pocket carry, and of course, all Charge Pluses come with uh, pocket clips that you can add on or take off. You just, you know, open this and then you slide it off, or you just slide it on. So. You can carry it in a sheath like you would a wave, or you can throw a clip on it and carry it that way. Uh, but these are definitely better tools. Like I said, they're lighter weight, and they usually have better quality materials. Once again, this being S30V, even the cheaper charge having 154 cm. So they're a little bit better tools for everyday carry. Anyways guys, that basically wraps up the discussion on the G10 version of the Charge Plus. It's basically the same tool as the normal Charge Plus, just better traction and better uh, quality materials, but they are hard to find and they are a little bit more expensive. So make of it what you will. Like I said, I'm just making this video for those handful of people like myself that want to have that next kind of upgrade for the Charge Plus and yeah. As always, God bless, and I'm out.